we just came from the international office and now we're about to go to the cafeteria and lounge area. But first I wanted to show you that you'll see a lot of these, these other buildings here. These buildings are all used for the medicine faculty and for engineering schools. So you really won't need to enter them, on, them unless you're an engineering student. Unfortunately, I don't know much about them, so I can't tell you which ones are which, but there are a bunch of engineering buildings and labs. So also right outside of the student services building is this is the International Student Board. And it will tell you all kinds of information. Here's a Japanese proficiency test if you want to take it. Um, all kinds of seminars and events that are coming up that you can learn about and, and participate in. This is also the um, scholarship board. And not necessarily for the international students, because if you come here beforehand, you'll probably have already gotten one, like JASO or something. Usually from St. Cloud, you'll probably apply for the JASO scholarship. And now let's head to the lounge and cafeteria. Right before you enter into the cafeteria things, and you can come to an ATM, which probably within the first week or so that you'll in, be in Akita, you'll make a bank account. And you have, we have three different banks in here. Um, the furthest one over here, which this guy is using, is Akigin, which is Akita Bank, which is actually my bank, and I highly recommend it. It's very easy to use. Um, and we have Jeff, the JP Bank, and this final one is Hokuto Ginko, but mainly you'll probably use this Akita Ginko, Akita Bank, which is also very close to campus. It's just a hop and a skip that way. So now we can enter to the cafeteria. Also, this area over here proves really nicely for many different shortcuts to classes. <laughs> this, if you take that road right over there, it'll lead you right to uh, Pan Ichi. And this is the entrance to the cafeteria and lounge. And right as you walk in are vending machines and all kinds of vending machines. We have hot drinks and sodas, pastries, ice cream. Mm -hmm. This is a new one because it's summer. Huh. Juice is here and it's pretty awesome. Over here is our lounge area where you find Right now it's summer vacation, so not many students are here, but find students uh, chatting, eating lunch, and studying, preparing for their next class. Over here is the small convenience store within the school. Right now, obviously not much going on because it is summer vacation. Um, but during lunchtime, everyone has the same lunch block here, and it's from 12 to 12.50 and then classes start again. So everybody comes here and the lines are crazy. So if you can get out of class early, get here fast if you want to eat, or else you'll be waiting a bit. Now we're in front of the actual cafeteria. Usually there will be winding lines into it. Um, sadly, it's closed right now, so we can't enter. But you can look inside and see. You first want to enter over there and has your main side foods and then the main dishes over there. There's also on the opposite side a small ramen store. And then these red seats are uh, actually their speed seat during that lunch period. So if you're eating during that lunch period and you want to get out quick, um, then you can sit there. Otherwise, if you want to sit and chat, you have to use the seats that are further back. Um, these are the main hours, but right now we're on break. <laughs> so most of the hours, but it's usually open until about uh, very late. This place is open very late. Um, from as early, I think it's 8 o'clock in the morning it opens and then closes at around 9 or 10 at night. So you can chill out here a lot and it's really good food. And try the katsukare. That's my favorite. Also very important in this kind of cafeteria lounge area is there's a lot of things. I mean we have the photo booth, for what when you need to take uh, professional kind of photos for ID. We have a copy machine here. There's small microwaves in case you buy ramen or anything, hot water. And also, if you smoke, um, there's a small smoking center because the campus is smoke free. You have to smoke outside of the campus. You can't even smoke in, like while you're walking. You have to go out near the road to smoke unless you come to this room. 
which is the first time I've seen it completely empty. But here is the smoky room and bathrooms are just down there. Now we're on the second floor in the cafeteria lounge area. Um, this is called Kopuru. Kopul. It looks like Kupul, but it's Kopul. Um, here is kind of your supply store. Um, there's books, there's all kinds of school supplies, there's uh, electronic supplies here, t-shirts, and um, electronic dictionary is very important. You'll probably want an electronic dictionary when you get here because it'll be very useful to you in classes. Um, you can also buy train tickets here, but no, they do not take credit cards. You need cash or the special university card, which I never got because I wasn't sure how it worked. But you usually just pay with cash or you can just go to the train station. Here's where you can buy any, you can buy really anything here. And if they don't have it, you can order it from the store and they'll get it for you. And they're really fast about it. There's also another copy machine. So right next to the cafeteria and lounge area is the health center. And this place is great if you get sick a lot. Um, the medicine they give you is free. Um, unless if you're seriously sick, go to the hospital. Um, and they, or they'll recommend different clinics to go to. But for standard colds and stuff, they'll give you some basic medicine. But the only thing you'll need here, you won't need a painting, but you will need your handy dandy ID card. Very important. And Usually you'll want to come in, I believe in October and in April, they have a basic checkup that you need to go through. And it's a very standard checkup, just like at the doctor's office at home. So they'll take blood pressure, things like that. And you'll go through a standard examination so they have your files on record. So make sure to do that. Don't forget to go up and to go, like some people forgot to twice. But try not to forget. Um, if you have any more questions about it, you can go see the international office or go to Kami Sensei or Kanaguchi Sensei, mm -hmm. and they will know everything about it. Other buildings that you can see around here are all engineering, labs, medicine, so all these buildings. Um, international students, unless you're studying that field, you won't really need to come here. If you're just basically coming here to study Japanese, or any kind of language thing, you won't really need to go into these buildings too much. I've actually never been in them. I never had a need to. Although some of my friends do, you know, study in labs here. And that actually building right, way back there, the big one, is known as Kosol Daigoku, which is a broadcasting university, which is actually just a good place to know because lots of people know that building. So in case you're lost and you want to try and get back, and you say Akin University, but they might not know which entrance. If you say Kosol Daigaku, then they'll know which side of the university you want to come to. So that's a good building to know what it is. Very close to the international offices. We're actually just around the side of the same building and just near the entrance, which is right over there. Um, you need to come here to pay your rent. You will pay rent. It's very cheap. It's only 5,900 yen. I believe it's the same for both um, dorms, but for me, I live in Kosai Kuryu Kaikan, which is only that much, so it's very cheap, and you come here to pay it. So it's this little tiny hidden area, and you go in, and right now it's closed, but there'll be two ladies sitting on the side, and you just say that you want, if you can just say the words, heya and okane, that's heya is room, okane is money, then they'll probably understand, unless you say the whole, heya heya, say the whole line, then they go, okay. You'll only need to know what room number you are, and that's about it. And they will take care of it, and it's really quick and easy. So here is where you pay your rent. Right across the street from the main entrance of the university is the sports gymnasium. We have a smaller one right over here, which they're currently practicing hockey. And then we have the larger area here, which is very, very big. <laughs> and right now you can even see we have tennis courts and some of them are actually practicing right now. I am a big tennis player. So here is you can join any clubs. International students are free to join any club you want. So if you're uh, in any sports at St. Cloud, you can continue that practice here in Akita.